sure that when that shit started at, then they, they fixing these drawers up now. 26, 20. Downstairs. My grandma had two downstairs. This right here was Mr. Biggs. Heavy, 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 heavy. I'm gonna show you how close the sneaker store was. And, and I'm gonna show you how why they start calling the best. So imagine you're a dirty little boy, right? Dirty little boy. They got no sneakers. You want sneakers, man? No money in you. You can walk to the corner of your block. What you say? Sneaker store. Shoe plus. Can you see that shit? <laughs> Nigga, shoe plus. I will walk to shoe plus and stare at Jordan's through the window. Right there, man. So I just go down there every day, just look at what they got new coming out. I mean, every day. Just, oh, they got the new list. Never get that shit. You know what I'm saying? Steve live right there. Skeeter Boo live right there. I couldn't go in the Cubs Army Army because I broke in there and took the stroke trophies. I mean, this 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 where my shit started at, right right on this block right here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing else. That's why I was like about 13. Go around that. So y'all seen it right here first. I lived a lot of places and shit. And, uh, some was good, some was bad, but one that was real, real good was Mr. Malik House. I don't remember how I got over there. He's not related to me or nothing. I don't even know. I just remember he was Muslim. He had two wives. He used to play like in a band or something. So he used to be practicing the guitars and all that. I was young, like eight, something like that. But I never thanked him for it. You know what I'm saying? He never asked me for nothing ever. You know what I'm saying? I remember I went to him like, yo, I need a, I don't know how to ride a bike. He's like, no. Went in the basement and found some orange drawn. The, the tires couldn't even get flats, like, you know, it was some, some shit from like the 50s, but I learned how to ride a bike on that shit. I crashed, bust my face up, he acting like it ain't nothing, like, you be all right, you know what I mean, he's an old, old gangster, you know what I mean, but I'm gonna go check him out and shit, man. I mean, man, you know, I got something planned for him, but you know, he ain't worried about that, man, he just, he, and while, while I was there, he got two other kids, a girl and a boy, it was like one in like a couple months. When I went over to see him, the, the boy was still with him, he's 30 now. You're building about 29 years, man. That's a hood hero, man. I mean, straight up, man. That's somebody I would love. I want to be like. All right, so y'all can check it out. Let's got my first bike. Vans. You know, stuff like that. Vans over. I'm a boy that had to take care of myself. My whole life, basically. You know what I'm saying? Then I see that even the young boy you got now, I remember when you had when he was a little kid, but a sister. Yeah, I got good memory, man. It's like, I just want to thank you. Basically, I just want to thank you. That's it. Say thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Because you ain't have to do it. I don't even remember. I don't even remember how I got here. Thank you, man. It was my pleasure. Excuse me. I don't even remember how I got here. I don't remember how. All I remember, I had that courage to come feed the dogs. I was scared to death. You know? <laughs> he, he, he brought me over here like two, three times. And said, you gotta go feed the dogs. <laughs> I had a dog. He's the only one that could. Um, but you feed had, it. you had no idea what he gave. I remember the pain. <laughs> the man had that man, he helped me with the rice and stuff fixed all in it. Yeah. yeah. I don't even remember what year it was. It's crazy. I don't even remember what year it was. I, I didn't know how to ride a bike. I told Mr. Malik, I said, I don't know how to ride a bike. Nobody broke a bike tonight. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, he gave me an orange bike. And it couldn't get flats. Man, I was riding that bike. I had bikies. I learned how to ride a bike when the rest of the You know what I'm saying? My life was so happy, you know, because I started being successful, you know what I mean? You know, you forget some stuff, but I had time to sit down and think about the stuff. Yes, sir. This might have be a negative influence when you as a kid and mess your whole life up. That's right. This might have been positive and make you a whole different person. And I know, he, I know for a fact. I don't even know if he's doing music, he's got nothing to do with him. I just know he needs to be able to practice it. Like he said right there, singing. Because I'm the type of little, I'm a little boy that ain't get in trouble. 
but I can't afford to get in trouble because I, I ain't trying to get put out. Listen, I've been doing it. Yeah. What do you say? Feed them dogs. I want to be like, no. <laughs> you can hear him coming from the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Like, what about that door? I got, so I got to come in sideways and shut the door behind me and just be in the dark. The dark here. I mean, this is the first time I've been here since then, too, man. So, you know what I mean? It's like, that, that's rare. People bad. That time, man, this was like a, a van. This was van, yeah. Yeah, man, we was, uh, you can come in here and look out, out the roots. Yeah. Like, 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 my third time I started getting a little cool, right? Yeah. How long has it been since y'all saw it? I saw him not too long ago. And I told him I was going to come back, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I was dipping, dabbing, hustling. Yes, sir. And doing this and doing that. This is the first time I like that. I mean, I'm straight, straight and narrow, all yeah. the way 100%. You know? Oh, right on. So, you mean, like, I, I want to touch base with people that mean something to me. I mean, you know, even if it's just a conversation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's good. But somebody don't gotta do something, and they do it for you. Like, like his mother took me in for a while, so like, like, but then some people that be bad to you, man. Yeah. Your family be better than, to you than your own, because they're strangers treat you, man. Yeah, right, man. Say something. Oh, God, they're good family. He really is, too, right? I want to treat you. Now they gave me a motivational award uh, uh, five days ago in New Brunswick. You know what I mean? Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it's like I just I come in the full circle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean? I just got blessed.